Simon Doranti Day, who was born in Britain but has lived in Australia since childhood, appeared in the media spotlight in 2016 with the claim that he was Prince Charles and Camilla's illegitimate son. Now that the couple is King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla, he has made himself known again, saying that since the ascension of father, Charles III, to the throne he has been, simply swamped, with offers. I've been approached by a lot of documentary directors and film companies wanting to tell my story. I didn't expect it to happen, but I'm glad it did. I'm considering their offers, said Simon Doranti Day. So who is Simon Doranti Day? Let's try to figure it out. As stated above, Simon Doranti Day, his middle name is Charles, as he says himself, it was one of the conditions of his adoption, is an engineer by profession, Australian, living in Queensland, but was born in the UK in Gosport, Hampshire. He claims to have been conceived in 1965, when, he says, Prince Charles and Camilla first had a romantic relationship. Simon Doranti Day, incidentally, he is the father of nine children, believes that the couple conceived him when Charles was only 17 and Camilla was 18, and he was later adopted by a family with ties to the royal family. He claims that his adopted grandparents Winifred and Ernest worked as a cook and gardener for the Queen and Prince Philip and, many times, told him that he was Charles and Camilla's child. He even filed papers with the High Court in London trying to force Charles and Camilla to take a DNA test, and said he would use legal aid to make sure his claims were taken seriously. He also previously claimed that the royal family had allegedly spent, years, hiding from the truth. Since Simon Doranti Day unveiled his crazy theory, he has shared numerous photos comparing himself and his son to members of the royal family, Charles, Camilla, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. Speaking to 7NEWS, Mr. Doranti Day said, The royal fans, my supporters, are amazing. They send me quite a few pictures confirming my resemblance to members of the royal family. And I really think it's like an Agatha Christie novel for them where they're looking for clues and answers. So many people have contributed to my story and are helping me. He even claimed that Princess Diana knew he existed and was preparing to reveal what Simon claimed she knew before she passed away in 1997. We believe that Diana knew I existed and that she put the facts together, Simon told Australia's new idea in 2019. I think Diane was looking for answers about her life at that point, about how she had been abused, and she was going to make my story public, Simon Doranti Day said. In October 2022, Seven News reported that Simon now plans to reach out to Netflix to get his story heard around the world. Ultimately, I'd like to see my story on Netflix or a similar streaming platform and will approach them to do that. I've already spoken to someone I trust who is happy to act on my behalf. I will take my case through the proper legal channels. I know that if I share my story and make it known to as many people as possible, it will be the key to getting Charles III and Camilla to consider my claims. I want them to do a DNA test with full legal compliance," Simon Doranti Day said.